You're watching Higher Things Video Shorts with me, Pastor Chris Hall. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any Higher Things content. You can follow Higher Things on social media and our website over at www.higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we ask that you remember us in your donations and prayers. Welcome back to Forgiveness Friday. Today we're going to deal with one that everyone has done since the moment they could basically form a sentence. White lies and fibs. Fibbing, you know, I'm not talking about big lies here, like lying in court or lying and breaking up a relationship or telling a lie and getting someone into I'm talking about the little bitty ones, like taking a cookie from the cookie jar and saying to your, your mom, no, I didn't do it. See, I can't get away with that now because I have a beard. So my wife can see the crumbles in my beard. So I can't lie about sneaking cookies anymore. That and also, you know, I'm a robust figure as well. So that doesn't help with the matter. But white lies and fibs, what, what's wrong with telling a little fib now and then? You know, um, if I come out and I ask my wife, do I look good in this lavender coat? And she says, yes, dear, you look fantastic. We know she's not telling the truth. We know she's lying. We know she's fibbing because she doesn't want to hurt my feelings. Just to let you all know, she never tells me it looks good on me. She does say, you look ridiculous. Please stop wearing it. But don't worry, I'm not going to stop. The reality is when we look at telling fibs, what, what commandment does this have an issue with? Well, it's the second one. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. What does this mean? We should fear and love God so that we do not curse, swear, use satanic arts, lie, or deceive by his name, but call upon it in every trouble, pray, praise, and give thanks. So we don't lie. We don't tell lies. We don't do little fibs because they are a rejection of the truth. And who is the truth? Is Jesus. I am the way, the truth, as he says in John 14, verse 6. He is the truth, so we speak the truth. But the real problem with fibbing is, and this is where it really becomes the issue, we tell fibs and little lies because we care more about what that person thinks than what God thinks. We care more about how that person views us, and we're scared that if we tell the truth, then they're going to have a different view of us or we'll get punished for it. So we tell the little fib to get out of being punished and to keep that person liking us and loving us and making sure they never change their view on us. So that ends up coming back to a first commandment. We idolize that person. We make them into an idol and we fear, love, and trust them more than we do God. Now, did Jesus do this? No, he spoke the truth in season and out of season. He never lied. He never told a little fib. He spoke the truth. And the truth is what got him to the cross. Speaking the truth sent him there with the sins of the world, with every little fib you've ever told, every little cookie from the cookie jar moment, every time you said, yes, that lavender coat looks nice on you, Every little one Jesus took on the cross and nailed it there and put it to death. And from the cross spoke only the truth that said, Father, forgive them. It is finished. The work of salvation done. So that now he may take every fib, every little lie, and drown it in his blood. So that you may have a purified tongue that isn't afraid anymore that you don't walk in fear of what people think about you. Because that really determines all we do, right? What, what do people think about me? So I'll, I'll do the fibs. Now, maybe you don't tell the fibs. Maybe you live the fibs. You wear different clothes. You listen to different music. Like if you listen to pop music, who would ever do that? No sane person ever actually likes pop music. You do it because other people listen to it. If no one else listened to it, no one, it's, it, don't get me started on that one. That'll be another short one day. Don't worry. But the reality is we live different little lives because we, we want everyone else to define us. But then Jesus comes in and says, don't worry about all that. I define you. And I say, I love you. I say, you're forgiven. I say, you are destined for paradise. And I love you as you are right now in me. 
That's what Jesus says to you. Because you are covered in his righteousness and the father sees you and delights in you just as he delights in his son. So be at peace. Are little fibs and white lies forgiven? Yes. Why? So that you may know that it doesn't matter what other people think about you. It matters what your father thinks about you, how he is toward you and how he, he is toward you is a loving father because you are covered in the blood of his son forgiven all of your sins and your name written in the book of heaven. God bless y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.